But first, for the month of December, the writing is well and truly on the wall at four locations around Dublin. The aim is to create a more playful city. Take a look. From winner, winner, chicken dinner, to gears a go in your fidget spinner. From sticks and stones to broken bones, from no stress to mindfulness. From snakes and ladders to stairways to heaven. From the children of Lear to homeless kids here. From the past to the future, from young to old, from me to you, from fearful to playful. Hardly the most playful looking place in Dublin, but the aim of this artwork is to create just that, a playful city. Hi, my name is Nessa and I'm from A Playful City. That's what this street art campaign is uh, an attempt to do, I guess, is in particular to highlight the right of children to play under Article 31 and their right to be heard and to be listened to as well. If we uh, look at the poem and the writing on the wall, it really speaks to uh, you know, the, the youngest to the oldest of generations. And I think if you build the city around children in mind, you would have a better city and adults would enjoy it as well, as much as children. I suppose the message about this is really about imagination and, and freedom, really. Uh, space does that a lot of the times. So I think it, it kind of opens up the imagination to do, to do anything. Artists and poets, as well as children and teenagers, just like Kieran and John, helped to come up with ideas for four pieces of artwork, which can be seen dotted around Dublin City during the month of December. Helping to support this project was the Ombudsman for Children's Office. It's their job to make sure the rights of children are looked after. Do you think that sometimes the adults forget about that when they're planning cities, when they're planning development, they forget about the kids and their rights to play? Of course they do, yeah. I mean, I think it's, that's, uh, that's what's happening. And there's so many pressures on, on the adults when they are planning these things that they think that it's, a, it's not the best use of land or not the best use of, of facilities. And I think it's the opposite of the case. That helps us as adults to be better because it relaxes us, it allows us an opportunity to, to uh, think in a different way and to remind us of what children are all about. Reimagining a city where imagination takes over and play like streets, buildings and buses is rice in the heart of us. It's what a playful city is all about.